Hey guys, I hope y'all are having a great day today. I am so excited because we are gonna be doing some lip swatches. I love doing lip swatches on my channel. So we're gonna be checking out the new Fenty Beauty Icon Semi Matte Lipsticks. So these came out in 10 shades. So let's jump right into the swatches so we can see what we think about the shades. And then I'll give y'all some more details about these lipsticks. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we have a total of 10 shades to try out today. We have a mix of neutrals and reds. I'm gonna go from lightest to deep so that hopefully my lips won't stain as I go through. And then with some of these shades, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna pair it with a lip liner, but we'll see as we go along. So let's start off with what I think is the lightest shade. This one is called Pose Queen. Okay, so this one is Pose Queen, and I think I am going to try this out with a lip liner as well, just so we can see what that looks like. So for the most part, if I'm using a lip liner, it's just going to be a standard brown one. This is the brown liner from NYX Cosmetics. Okay, so again, this is the shade Pose Queen with a brown liner. Next up, we have the shade Mother Lover. Okay, so this is Mother Lover without a lip liner. I'm gonna use a lip liner with this one as well. Okay, so here is Mother Lover with a brown lip liner. Next we have the shade Scholar Sister and I think this is gonna be one of my favorite ones. Okay, I had to clean up around the edges a little bit, but this is Scala Sister and I do really like this one. Next, we have the shade Ball and Babe and based on the pictures that I saw, I think this one is gonna be my absolute favorite. Okay, this is the shade Ball and Babe. I don't know which one I like more between this one and the last one, but I do really like this one too. So again, this is Ball and Babe. Okay, this next one I believe is pronounced Major Magnet. Okay, this is Major Magnet. I really like this one too. This next one is called the MVP. All right, I had to clean this one up too, but this is the MVP. This next one is called Grill Master. Okay, and here is Grill Master. Okay, we have three left and my lips are now starting to feel kind of dry, but they do still feel okay for doing a bunch of swatches, but my lips are just now starting to feel kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, so this next one is called She a CEO and I feel like this is going to be one of my least favorites, but we will see. And this is okay, not my favorite, but it's okay. So again, this one is She a CEO. Okay, next up we have Flaunty Auntie. So I like this one. I would probably only wear it in the fall, but you know, it's nice. So again, this one is Flaunty Auntie. And last up, we have board member. Okay, this one also kind of swatched all over the place, but I do really like this one too. So again, this one is board member. Okay, so I decided to go back to the shade Major Magnet because surprisingly, I do think this is my favorite one. There were a few others that I did really like, but I think Major Magnet is my favorite one. For me, it's a nice everyday shade. This one is reminding me of the um, Nima Tang lipstick that came in like her brown new lipstick set. It's called Penny. It reminds me very much of that, so I do really like this. So about how it feels on the lips and all of that, these are really comfortable. So it took me seven swatches until I got 
to the point where my lips started to feel really dried out but keep in mind that I was putting lipstick on wiping it off and then putting another shade on so just that constant swiping is going to make your lips dried out anyway but they feel really comfortable it feels like a really soft matte finish so I hope y'all can see when I go like this my lips are not sticking together at all they just feel really nice and comfortable like a whipped soft matte finish so I do really like how these feel on the lips now let's talk about this packaging because there's a lot of confusion about this packaging so I did read some reviews um, that people said that the lipstick is overpriced now these are refillable the actual lipsticks cost $20 and let me show y'all what first of all let me show y'all what the whole package looks like so this is the whole package if you get all of this and I'll show you the different pieces in a minute if you get all of this this is going to cost you $32 and a lot of people seem to think that in order for you to get extra shades like say if you're interested in three of the shades you have to buy three whole sets and you're going to have to spend $32 per color if you want to get the whole set yes if you want to get the whole set per color it is going to cost you $32 but you do not have to buy multiple cases all you have to do is swap them out so I have 10 of the shades and I only have one case so this is what it looks like all put together and then when you take it out all you do is turn it it pops up at the top right here and then you just eject the actual lipstick now this part down at the bottom this is part of the case as well and let me show y'all that part is pretty hard to come apart but it can come apart so these two pieces right here this is the case this part is $12 and then the lipstick is $20 so all I was doing when I was uh, going through the swatches I was just taking this bottom part let me put the lid back on here I was taking this bottom part and then I was just attaching it and then each time I went to another shade, I was just detaching it and putting putting it on the other shade. So you really don't have to buy a separate case for each color that you want. All you have to do is swap them out. And then for the shades that you're not using, you can just keep them stored like this because your product will be nice and protected. It has a really nice strong like plastic case on it and you just keep this in your drawer or whatever until you want to use this shade. That's all you have to do. So like I said, I have all 10 shades but I only have one of these cases. So I like the idea of the refillable packaging. I do think this part is kind of bulky. Like when you put the whole lipstick together, it is kind of bulky compared to some other lipsticks. Like this is my Urban Decay lipstick and definitely bulky compared to some of the other Fenty lipstick so although I like the idea of the refillable packaging I do think that they could have done slimmer packaging and then that would have made the actual packaging cheaper per lipstick and maybe they didn't have to do the refill but I mean I do like the idea of the refillable packaging but just know that you do not have to buy a separate case for every color that you want to buy so let me know what y'all are thinking about these lipsticks did y'all already pick them up or are you thinking about getting some let me know in the comments also let me know what shade y'all like the best out of the ones that I tried out today so I really hope that y'all enjoyed my video today if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you head out and I will see y'all back here for my next one. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.